What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to celebrate Halloween with this really cool pop art zombie look. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, I just kind of winged it and I'm super proud of how it turned out. First off, we're going to prime with my Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. Love this stuff because as the cooler weather hits, my skin's super dry. And you guys, I am wearing a top, so don't get any crazy ideas. I know somebody's going to think I'm naked. <laughs> so I'm going to outline uh, some of the parts where my base color will not be with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm just going to add some like gory bits on my chest. And then I hit up the yellow color in my Mehran paint set and I started off with a foundation brush but the beauty blender is where it's at. It just gives you such a nice finish. And then I hit up the black color to go ahead and trace over that white stencil. I really just want to make sure you know that these colors pop which is why I'm outlining them and I want my nose to have that like rotted away look you know because typical zombies just don't, most of them don't have noses. <laughs> and I'm also gonna be adding some gory flesh bits. So uh, when I outline them in black, that way the colors stand out more against the yellow. And now I'm adding the blue color around where my eyes are. And um, you know, I wanted to make this look a bit more dark so I used my Juvia's Place palette with that blue color and then I got closer to the lash line as well. And here I added some green you know to make it look kind of sickly, pussed out and gross. And this is actually an accident. I kind of freaked out but I was like you know what let's just wing this and make it look like I have an infested wound. So it kind of had a nice effect. All right, so now that the dance party's over, <laughs> I started on my jawline. So much like my last tutorial, I created the line going through the middle, and then I wanted to just outline where, you know, uh, the rest of the flesh was going to be right underneath my jaw. And I worked on the teeth, you know, of course, with the white color, and I wasn't really focused on them being like really perfect. And then I added black to the inside of my lips to make it just look like, you know, there was no space. It was just like just teeth and not, you know, actual flesh. And like I was saying, you know, you want the teeth to not be perfect, just kind of rounded. They don't need to be pointed at the bottoms because most pop art, they just have like really like rounded teeth. And then I went ahead and outlined the teeth in black to make them stand out. And then I made it look like, you know, I had some exposed flesh with that red color. And you can use some red eyeshadow if you have some for shading. I didn't, but, you know, if you want to make it look a bit more realistic, you can do that. And then I'm going ahead and coloring in my eyebrows with that same yellow color. And here, you know, you gotta make it look like that skin is really sagging, like it's just, it's expired. <laughs> so I added all those bags, and then later on I went and I colored them in with white. And I'm really just making sure that collarbone is popping. I don't really know where I was going. I was trying to make it look like, you know, I had that deep clavicle kind of indentation. <laughs> um, if you recognize what that is, but yeah. <laughs> And then I wanted it to kind of look like I had a shadow or to make it look gaunt where my neck was, so I did that. And, you know, I just added some little pop art emphasis stuff around uh, some of around my forehead and stuff like that. 
and I did some shadowing with some of the white colors. I kind of just freehanded this, you know, to make it look more appealing to the eye. You guys, let me know if you're more into scary Halloween looks or glam Halloween looks. I hope I successfully creeped you out and you enjoyed the video.